Hey guys, I have another page to share with you today from my mini junk journal. I'm starting off on a piece of watercolor paper that I covered with a layer of the Finnebear Clear Gesso. And I have some magenta and ruby Dina Wakely Media acrylic paint. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply that, starting with the magenta. And then I'm going to uh, bring in a little bit of that ruby. Blending it a little, but not too much. And then I have this Dina Wakely stencil called Scales. And I'm just going to use a paintbrush to apply some of that magenta through there. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of the ruby through the stencil as well. And then I have a dot fade stencil by Tim Holtz. And I'm applying my stenciling in um, a circle, like I'm making a circle over the stencil so that when um, you lift the stencil and see it, it looks like the stenciling's in the shape of a circle. And then I'm gonna stamp out my Scribbly Bird here from the Scribbly Bird stamp set by Dina Weekly Media. And I'm using some stays on black stays on ink and then I have my Stabilo Marksol water soluble pencil that I'm gonna give my little bird something to stand on and I just sprayed a little bit of water on my finger and um, ran that across the pencil marks to um, activate that that water solubleness <laughs> so I also put a piece of washi tape um, along my spine just for um, a little bit of like a, a style should we say like not function fashion right so and then I'm gonna go in and paint my little bird I have tangerine cheddar lemon and ruby and I'm using the Dina Wakely media uh, paintbrush the one with the long handle and the bristles on those brushes is like super um, th um, like stiff and scratchy and it was getting a little bit um too scratchy for me so i switched to um a brush that had like a little softer bristles and then i'm just gonna go in with my color um i don't really have a rhyme or reason i was trying to think of um you know how i how I did it here um, I usually start with my lighter colors and then work up to the dark like uh, the lighter colors I have the majority of the color and then as the darker as I get with the dark colors it gets less and less um, so that's pretty much it and then I'm bringing in a little bit of olive the um, Adina Wakely Media color because um, it's green and I wanted to darken those dark areas um, and mixing the green with the ruby since they're opposite each other on the color wheel it's going to make a brownish color um, I didn't want like straight brown I just wanted a variation of that ruby color so that's why I used the olive and then I'm going to go in with a little gesso add some highlights and a little catch light in his eye there and honestly I worked at this way too long and I ended up um, halfway through not being happy with it and I realize now that it's because I was working at it too much if I would have stopped like shortly after I started I would have been super happy with it and I realize it's because I was being too controlled and not loose enough um, I was really trying to go in and think about what I was doing and I should have just let go and just kind of intuitively laid down color and I would have been much happier with it because at this point I'm pretty much starting over covering most of it with the lemon again and you can still see some of those darker colors coming through but yeah um, it got away from me and it would have taken a lot less time if I would have stopped <laughs> a lot sooner so um, I'm going to add a little bit of my white highlights back in, add his catch light back in on his eyes, a little bit of highlights on the top of his head, and um, oh, I also used some tangerine for his beak, and when I um, painted him, I obscured some of those lines from the stamping, so I'm just going to go in with my Stabilo Marksol pencil again and draw in some of those lines, and these sketchy, scribbly 
kind of stamps are really nice because you don't have to precisely follow the line you can just make your own sketchy lines and um, it looks great with the stamp because that's what the stamp originally looks like so um, also my paint was not quite dry so it um, made the pencil a little um, darker it activated a little bit of that color so now I'm gonna stamp um, like a main title sentiment whatever and I have this stamp that says uh, wilderness and it's by Viva Las Vegas stamps but I'm just inking up the part that says wild and I'm gonna stamp it around my page a little bit I accidentally stamped it upside down at first <laughs> but I'm like it says wild it's wild <laughs> So, um, and then I stamped it in, um, in the bird there and I was really trying to make this, um, dilutions washi tape work for some reason. I don't know, but it didn't work. So I left it out and that's it for my page today. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye guys.